Let's discuss the Lightning Experience Roadmap and what is still missing from Salesforce Lightning. And for any links that I share during this video, just look for those in the description or resources, depending on where you're viewing this. And leave a comment if there's any links that I've failed to include and I'll get those added. So with that, the Lightning Experience Roadmap has a long tabled list of different features or items and this gets updated frequently as Salesforce releases new functionality to Lightning Experience. And the features along the left hand column here are ones that are checked are ones that have been released earlier and then for the upcoming releases at the time of this recording. We're currently in the spring 20 release at least in the free developer accounts and sandboxes and then I think winter 20 is about phased out and spring 20 is the current release but into the future the summer 20 release is this next to last column on the right and then future is some future release that is planned and so this is a helpful resource for you to know what's on the roadmap for lightning and also if you're wondering if something's available or not you can confirm that by referring to this table now, there's some things that will never be implemented into Lightning. These are things that are being phased out that were available in Classic but won't be supported in Lightning, such as, for example, Chatter File Sync Client for Desktop will never come to Lightning. So that has been phased out on the Lightning side. And then other things you see in the future, and these are separated by different versions or platforms of Salesforce. So under mobile, you'll notice in the future, there's coming dynamic forms and Einstein search. There's a few things that are in pilot right now, such as Einstein insights, et cetera. And then as well, you see some things that will never come to mobile for Salesforce Lightning, such as integrated email. I'm not sure exactly what the implications are for that. And then a few things I was asked recently, I think it was on Twitter, what is the most important thing that's missing, in my opinion, uh, in Lightning? And I mentioned that I think the most important thing is sharing, as far as manual sharing goes. Let's see if I can find that. So sharing, manual sharing of records, add, view, edit, delete is a future release. And then manual sharing of records, Lightning experience only enhancements. So I'm not sure what the difference is between these two, but that's signified as a future release as well. So check out the Lightning Roadmap. And then I want to speak for a moment about the state of Salesforce itself. This is a report provided by Blue Wolf at, in the new year of 2020. So this is just a couple of months old. And I'll provide a link to where you can download this yourself. I'm not going to just provide a copy of this, but I'll just send you to Blue Wolf's site so that you can request to download that directly from them rather than trying to get your email address or anything like that. Now, Blue Wolf will want your email address, so we'll just leave it at that. But I wanted to highlight this page 10 of 73 of this PDF, and this is a note on Lightning striking more customers, and Lightning was launched in 2016. So we're entering into the fifth year, I guess it's four years old now, if you count 2016, 17, 18, 19, and now 20. And this may be surprising to you, but only 45% of the instances that Blue Wolf has exposure to and those that have responded to this survey, only 45% have switched to Lightning, so less than half. Now, that isn't an accurate number across all Salesforce in instances. I've not seen Salesforce release those numbers. I'd be curious to find out if more than half of all instances have converted over to Lightning. Now, 38% are planning to switch, and then 16% have no plan for transition. So even today, it appears that at least half of Salesforce instances are still on Classic. So perhaps they are content with Classic and how it's working, this, the mindset of if it's not broken, why fix it? Perhaps there's some features that are missing, but I wanted to make you aware of the current conditions that are out there as far as the numbers that I see. And you can check out the Blue Wolf State of Salesforce 2020 report as well. And do let me know what you found that is missing from Lightning that you would like to see be supported in the comments of this video.